Um, it's going good. It's good to get back out here. Coach Rasgott is working hard. It's our second week down. I mean, everybody's starting to finally get back into real good condition. Got a real good workout today. And uh, next week we start to amp it up, and we've been amping it up every week. So it's good to see the young guys out here that came in early, and everybody's just busting their butt trying to get better. How was participation? It's been real good, real high. Everybody's been here unless they had something like everybody starts to move now in school wise. That's like the only time people don't be here. So everybody's in here for seven on seven, working hard, running hard, lifting hard, just trying to get ready for this next season. So today makes it official. It's now the Pac-12, not the Pac-10. Uh, your thoughts on Colorado and Utah joining and making it uh, a larger conference? Um, I'm actually excited that these two came in and joined us because it's two good programs. They've been good programs. They've been to the top. They've been all over the place. And uh, Utah and Colorado are both respected programs. And I'm excited to play against them both and actually go to Colorado. I heard it's a nice place to play. So we'll see how that goes this year. Because it's 12, now this conference uh, can have a conference championship game. So that looms out there for you guys. Uh, how excited is everyone for the possibility of playing a conference championship game? I think everybody's just excited for any game. You know what I'm saying? It's been forever since it feels like since we played, and I'm just excited to get back out there and play. You kind of just don't really look forward to the championship game. You just got to take it one game at a time, and you know what I'm saying? Hopefully we'll end up there. The possibility exists that the team with the best record gets to host that game. Uh, what would that mean to you guys to host the championship game here? I mean, it'd also obviously be amazing because Austin's probably one of the best places to play in the country. It's hands down the fans, and it'll just be a great advantage if you if we could handle something like that, have everybody come into our play at our stadium. They'll be at a big disadvantage. And we have to ask you about something like a story came out today uh, in Yahoo Sports about Will Wiles, uh, his relationship with the University of Oregon, recruiting his relationship with Mike on Lake, and. In that interview, I don't know, first of all, have you seen that? Um, I've heard about it. I have not read it. You've heard about it. Okay. Good, so I can reference it. Um, he says that uh, he did make mistakes and that he says, I'm a big enough man to admit that I made mistakes. And that he said he had influence on recruits and where they, where they may have gone. Um, your thoughts, first of all, when you hear that, does that trouble you at all? I'm not worried about it at all. I'm just here to play football, just like everybody else is. It's nothing that we can handle. We're just here, you know what I'm saying, to play football, get us the best that we can be, and just take it from day to day, just like we're doing now. The NCAA is investigating. If the NCAA were to find that Oregon committed a violation, how disappointed would you be? Um, I can't really speak on that right now because, I mean, they're just investigating. It's not, you know what I'm saying, anything serious. So I'm just here, just like I said, just battling day to day, trying to get better and go from there. you see anyone distracted by it at all? Nobody's distracted. Nobody's even thinking about that. It's, uh, out of, it's, it's nothing we could deal with. It's nothing in our hands. We're just here to play. That's all we do with. Coach Kelly said anything to you guys about it? Today? Nope, nobody said anything. Coach Kelly said there's nothing to worry about, so I'm not worried about it. Thank you, man. Thank I appreciate you. your time. Thank you very much. <laughs>